and the 14-time Outlaw Sprint Car Champion, Steve Kinzer. Car number 26 has blown. That's the Kinzer car. Steve Kinzer, Bloomington, Indiana, will have to hope for a provisional berth to make it into the 500. Back in a moment. You can see them, they, they get together. What started back there, we didn't, couldn't quite see that. Ward Burton and Loy Allen coming along here in the bottom, squeaking through. And I got to give a call to Ward Burton, the Hardy's car. He's been able to get by Bobby Labonte and Ricky and the crash. He gets together with Kenzer and Bobby Labonte's in and run. He's crashing in the back straight away. A three or four car crash, and still Ricky Rudd is taking hits out there. Well, they go down the corner. It looks like the 11 car of Brett Bodine and Steve Grissom are going to get together. Kenzer. Yeah, Steve Kinzer. Brett Bodine 11, Steve Kinzer in 26. Just a little contact between those two. Kinzer spins. As he comes off the racetrack, other cars start trying to avoid him. The other 71 car goes through. Jimmy Spencer's involved. Randy LaJoy. There's Phil Parsons spinning in the accident. Yeah, we had a little incident uh, with Brett there getting in number one. And, you know, I just uh, want to thank uh, Quaker State and uh, the, all the people on this team for sticking with me. And, you know, if they, if they stay with me, I'm going to make them a good race driver. It's just going to take a little time for me to make the adjustment. Row four is newcomer Davey Jones and Rusty Wallace. David had a good, Davey had a good qualifying speed. He's in a pack of cars there, Ken. It looked like he might have clipped the outside wall just a little bit. Yeah, did you see the right side of the car damaged pretty good, so he must have got up against the right side of the car, then got down on the inside. Those roof flaps again did their job, kept the car down on the ground, and he spun on the pit road, finally came to a stop. We're taking a look at it at another angle. And and you'll see 22 is that other car. That black car is LaJoy. The Bill Davis car has been involved as well, and he is pitting at the present time. Whoa! Yeah. Jeff got into him just a little bit getting in the corner there. Around comes the car. Right rear hits. Now the right front will go into the wall. Now here's the dangerous part. He really does not have any steering to speak of. And you see uh, Dale Jarrett coming by on the inside there. Very good, lucky to keep it up high. In any case, Brett, as we said, was able to drive away. However, Davy Jones is not able to, and the wrecker is there in front of the car. And here's a look at it again, Ned. Okay, they were really tightened up coming in here. You see the 25 car to 33 get together there, maybe just a little bit coming in. And then here comes Rusty into the picture. Joe Nemechek and Randy LaJoy. Now, Randy LaJoy lost his windshield over in the deal that he had over off turn two. Wow, it's right down on his lap. Hmm. What's left of it? <laughs> Not a good day for Norwalk, Connecticut. In fact, LaJoy. his windshield was gone. That was yeah. part of the cowl, yeah. Yeah. the dash. Looks like he's right by himself. This car comes around. Now it starts up the racetrack. See the left front fixing to get into the wall. Oh, man, that's a hard lick. Coming out of turn four. It's fixing to get broken. Here's another look at it. You can see he's already in big trouble. He comes up the racetrack. Watch the left front. Right, man. It makes you love this stool, don't it? Right, yeah, this stool's looking pretty good right now. <laughs> Not the best seat in the house, but it's pretty close. And just a little touch from yeah. Bobby Labonte. Sends the joy around. And Bobby Labonte might have touched him down just a little bit with the left side of his race car, but... He certainly didn't hurt. have the damage that Jeff Gordon had. Here it is from the blimp. Definite contact between yeah. LaJoy and Bobby Labonte, and yeah, Labonte did take a hit in the left uh, quarter panel. He's coming into the pits right now, and of course Jeff Gordon is the one that really took the hit. Yeah. 